We are due for an Eve run. This is where things start to get a little shaky. 2-3. S-M-C-B-W-A. If we find ourselves in a position where we can hurt ourselves in order to enter the Horror of Babylon state, and maybe pick up a Spirit Heart to go along with it. Now, mind you, the Spirit Heart is not looking that likely to show up unless it's just a random drop, which can happen, but is unlikely. There's two Tinted Rocks available. Decent chance we get a bomb item in here, but how about just giving me Mom's Knife? All right, Leech is actually kind of bad for us, I think, now that I've picked it up and given it a second thought. Here's how it works in my brain. Should we pick up Leech? Yeah, why not? It's passive. And then immediately I'm like, oh, shit. Why is it bad? It's going to be hard for us to manage our HP and ensure that we stay in our Horror of Babylon state. That's that's the thing that makes it not so good. Whether or not it's bad is debatable. It would be great for us if we could get to a permanent spirit heart state, or if we could get ourselves to the position where we don't have any empty heart containers. Come on, squeezy. Give me squeezy. Meat. Meat is like the opposite of squeezy. Well, no, it doesn't really make any sense at all, but I guess we're going to have to do this without uh, the benefit of being in our Horror of Babylon state. That's okay. Leech, leech, activate. This is, oh, exactly what I was just about to say. I was like, this is one of the very few rooms where I would actually love to have Leech be active right away. This is how things go terribly wrong on an Eve run. Not having the opportunity to trade any HP away. What the fuck is wrong with you? Leech, dead bird, get in there. It's your, you got one job. I apologize for getting ornery, but I'm, I'm sensing a repeat of last run, and I don't want to do it. I'm mad as hell, and I can't take it anymore. You've got one thing to do. There's two enemies on the screen. Go find them. Take them out. They're right there in that corner. You're like, you're so close to them that they can spit a spider directly into my face. This item room. Oh, this item room had better be good. That's all I can say. Okay, again, if we could get maybe a single bomb, that would be nice. I'm being quite ornery as of right now. I apologize for my orneriness. At the same time, I think you can, you can understand it to some extent. But the, one of the most important things is just not tilting. If you don't tilt right off the bat, it's fine. We've already thrown some of our chance of getting a, a deal with the devil. Much of our chance of getting a deal with the devil, in fact. But our HP is good. It's going to be very hard to kill us with, um, with Leech being active as much as possible. See? The fact that we have not yet encountered a, uh, a bomb, and yet we've found four or maybe even five Tinted Rocks at this point is unreasonable. But hey, speed plus range upgrade. We got another key. That key could allow us to go to our shop. But what I'm uh, intending to do with it is take it to a library if we have one. I guess we wouldn't know if it was a library or a shop until we were already in there. But hey, if we had some bombs, maybe we could use a secret room to bomb our way into one of them and then give ourselves a chance. But no, no bombs. Let's just have all the chips fall in our way for once. There was one time where strange uh, chocolate actually got me trapped in there. Anyway, we've taken enough red heart damage here to do something that you could only do if you've taken a lot of red heart damage. Let's move along. Because we can get a lot of consumables back with one bomb. Yeah, and there's not even a spirit heart for sale. Oh, I would love to be able to get black, or sorry, blue candle here. If I could get blue candle, I wouldn't have to worry about my damage anymore. Bible tracts? Kind of surprised we didn't get hit there, but I guess I'll take Bible tracts. Shit, let's do it. I had a feeling this might be the case. The only way for us to get a deal with the devil is not to get hit. That's not super likely. Oh. 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 Okay. Leech. I've got to get you aggroed up here. There you go. Okay, that's good stuff. Okay. You know what? We didn't get a deal with the devil, but I can't be too mad about it because we got pretty lucky just to find ourselves with a damage upgrade for beating the boss. Hopefully we'll get a deal with the devil on this floor. But yes, third floor behind the eight ball from a damage perspective is a very dangerous, dangerous place to be. Leech has been better than I gave it credit for originally, and I appreciate it. I would welcome like <laughs> like two health down pills. That's that's how desperate I am to get this damage here. But we need to have a spirit heart to, to kind of pull the whole thing together first. We even got a bomb there. Now notice, out of all the tinted rocks on the last floor, we chose to open probably the only one that didn't have any spirit hearts in it to begin with. I'm pretty sure that like my complaining is going to fall on deaf ears. I don't like being negative two runs in a row, you know? I'm, I'm not a negative person. I'm a very positive person for the most part. And I would love to be positive in this run. It would go a long way if I could just uh, not take red heart damage on this floor, give myself the best chance possible of getting a deal with the devil. Look at all these big rooms, though, man. Can we have some small rooms? What's up with all these big rooms? Oh, no. I threw it. These are the runs that separate the, the mice from the men. No offense if you're a mouse. 
or a lady. That's just the way the expression is. I didn't make it. Okay, you need to get in there, leech. You stand on the outside looking in for too long. Makes it very difficult for me to avoid taking damage, like in that situation, for example. Whenever we lose our deal with the devil chance, it's really up to our item room to pick up the slack. Fool card great for boss rush. Let's be honest, that's a bit of a pipe dream right now. Mom's wig, it's a good item. Are we gonna go for the, the quote unquote, you know, Hail Mary pass here? Are we gonna throw away um, our key and a little bit of money in order to pick up potentially a spirit heart? My key logic, hopefully you follow. There's no spirit heart, mom's purse. It's okay. It's an okay uh, option here. Okay. Yeah, we can still get three bombs for one here. What is up with these no spirit heart bullshit situations here? Are you seeing this? Every opportunity we have to get a, uh, a spirit heart is thwarted, and then we end up fighting Gertie Jr. in a situation where we can't take damage. I fucking hate Gertie Jr. That one was like, it was quicker than I expected. So no deal with the devil again. We got dessert. Again, another floor where we've basically not improved ourselves at all. This can't continue. We will we will fall apart sooner rather than later. Reroll the whole run. Reroll the whole run. Okay, well, two keys for a golden key is actually a very interesting kind of trade. This can still turn around. Eve is one of the characters who can, you know, do a 180 as quickly as possible as a result of the like the binary state switch between uh Whore of Babylon and non Whore of Babylon, which which is a very striking amount of damage difference. Mom's wig is actually proving to be very helpful. Imagine how helpful it would be if we were actually doing any tier damage at all. No spirit hearts. This room scares me a little bit. Leech, don't get too cocky. Whoa, okay. We made it through. I think we gotta... Why did I come to this room first? We should've just fought the boss. Don't fuck around with a good thing. Are we just gonna fight the boss like this? I mean, we do like no damage, but I guess we have six bombs. Depends what boss we fight, we could find ourselves in a pretty good position. I think this is our best chance of getting a deal with the devil. We almost blew it on this room. Let's just let's let's put it all on the line here. Actually, let's give some money to judgment first to maybe pick up one more item before we go in. I believe in you, judgment. Give me a spirit heart, then give me like compass or something. Okay. Well, I mean, we weren't really at much much risk of overall death anyway, but I appreciate it. It's a thought that counts. Sure. You gotta give me something, it's in the rules somewhere. Wow. Okay, well if there's any boss that you can do it on, it would be the hollow. I think we might be in the clear. Now don't fuck it up, just a good deal with the angel, or devil. Devil, I said devil. Pageant boy. There's a nickel in it, so I can't complain too hard. Oh, you absolute asshole. We will get either a, a damage upgrade or a decent spacebar item. Kind of wished it was lump of coal, but whatever. Here. We've already given you over 15 cents, so you, it better be something good. That's all I'm saying. Are you kidding me? Holy shit. I've given you like 20 cents at this point. If there's an arcade here, you know what? That was not necessary, but I did it. Wow. This is the mini boss floor, huh? I guess I should have uh, not taken red hard damage on the last floor. How much money do I have to give you in order to make you pay out, Judgment? Because now I've invested too much. There's a sunk cost, man. I still want to go to our, our shops, but you're not making it easy here. You think you're fucking hilarious. You're not. You're not hilarious. Provided we have a charge of it. Which might be debatable, or unlikely, because I'm... Uh, out of frustration, using Krampus's head more often. Well, I've already, I've only used it once, but um, I'm using Krampus's head probably a little bit more often than I should because I'm not doing any damage of my own. Oh yeah, that was got me in the snow blindness there. Come on, come on, run, be kind. I am. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna break the D10. What is this? Oh no. Or, oh yes? Now we can't justify it, but there's so many fucking red hearts on that judgment that I wanted to play. I know we should get HP, but at the same time, I just want to live a little, you know? Yeah, that's good. 
Why do you have to be like this game? We could make such beautiful music together. And you've decided to stab me in the back. We could die here. I think I might welcome it. <laughs> it's not a position that you want to find yourself in. Thank you, uh, High Priestess. Not High Priestess, Placenta. All right, well. Now it's ruined even further, but maybe in a... Please. This is the moment. These have got to be good. They don't... I mean, they literally don't have to be, but please. Oh, Golden Keys. Judas's Tongue? I mean, it's probably better than Bible Tract. This is torture, man. I don't support this at all. Where is our secret room? Look at this shit. So we're going to have one cent to use on this fucking asshole. Where are we even going to put this? Oh, you know what? You know what? You did it! How, round of applause, everybody, for the asshole who milked me for like $22 or 22 cents here, but it felt like $22. And they can't even get any extra coins in here. You did it, Judgment! You broke my faith in the game! Round of applause. Round o fucking applause. I'm losing it. I'm losing my touch. These past couple of runs have not been... They have, I haven't done what I needed to do. We got 4 HP. Oh, we have Mom's Purse, so... Right, I forgot that we bought that when we meant to buy literally anything else. I don't want to do big rooms. We're Again, we're on the clock. We're, you know, they say stress is like the number one fucking killer, man. This whole run is just stress. Normally in Isaac, you start out, it's risky. You get some items, it becomes less risky. You get to the end game, it becomes more risky. On this run, we've never exited that opening period of fear. Mixed in with a health, healthy dose of frustration has made for not the most amazing run of my life here. Gotta take like a bigger loop if we're gonna make that Ah! I forgot these like golden ones are so fucking fast. Guys, I am I'm tapping out. I'm not actually tapping out. I'm going to I'm going to continue to fight, but I'm so fucking done with this run. Give me something. I'm getting into full-blown Mathis rage territory here. That's not where I like to be. I hate this room. You can tell I I start getting frustrated with a run when I uh leech, what are you doing? When I start using bombs against like basic enemies. Leech, are you okay? Do I need to call the doctor? Oh, my Atlanta. If you don't want me to have a streak game, you can just say so. You can just tell me to fuck off, record something else for today. Have we gotten a single damage up? We did get synth oil. We got synth oil. Northern Line, how can you complain? You got synth oil. You got synth oil, dog. What is that, like 0 0.025 damage up? It's the equivalent of having, like, you know, an IOU and money equals power. Yeah, spiders, don't go after this guy in the ooze. Just, like, be a little a little too easy for me. This is it right here. This, my confidence and morale lives and dies with this item room. Happy, happy thoughts. How can we simultaneously have shit HP and shit damage? It's not supposed to work that way. We got shit everything! We got shit luck. We got shit range. We got shit tears. I'm not even like seeing the bullets anymore. My brain is completely shut off from the bullets. It doesn't see them as an enemy anymore. Look, there's a lot of good stuff going on in this room. I would love to I would love to pick up a variety of these uh Wonderful items, one of these wonderful things that the room has for sale. Humbling Bundle, that seems nice. Ooh, we should invite Humbling Bundle over for dinner sometime. But first, I gotta take care of me, man. I bought the Spirit Heart to give us the slightest chance of getting through this Devil Room. Getting to this Devil Room. Getting into this Devil Room, trading all of our HP away for a fucking... Ghost baby. I need the damage. Headless Horseman. Oh. Oh. This floor is it now. 
There are many items in the game for which you only need one of them to win. Brimstone, Mom's Knife, Death's Touch Helps, Epic Fetus, Ipecac. All we need to do is get one of these magical, mystical, ugh, wonderful items. Look at this. This is the Necropolis 2. This is where we are. This is our damage on Necropolis 2. What can I say? What, what can I- fuck what can I say? What can I do? Leech, what are you doing? Oh my god. I'm out. Goodbye, Rebirth. It's been fun. We are actually- we're at the point where we're using holy water, effectively. Take a second to ponder that. Don't ever fucking talk to me about this Yara rune. <laughs> this Yara rune is amazing. But we need to make it to the chest. If we make it to the chest, I will sing the praises of this Yara rune. I will sign up for the company newsletter. All sorts of, of grand desires that are extremely unlikely to happen. However, our odds of uh, making it to the chest are, are very bad. Leech, I don't want your HP. Let me let me die in Horde Babylon State. Let me die a warrior's death. <sighs> if we can persevere through this, we can win any run that Rebirth throws at us. Maggie's bow is like the first pickup I've gotten. Where I've been like, you know what? This game wants to play nice. It's not even that good. And it's going to make it even harder to stay in our Horde Babylon State. But at least it's it's something. It's it's a sign of goodwill from the game. This is like we're having some nuclear disarmament talks, and it's finally come to the table with like a realistic proposition instead of just like fuck you, American pigs. What am I what am I hoping for? Shit, dude. Basically nothing. I don't even care about going to our shop, to be honest with you. I just want to get a full Krampus' head charge. I've had one damage upgrade the whole fucking run. Taking red hard damage on every floor. Except one. The one floor we didn't take red heart damage on, we got Krampus's head. Figured, you know, save one bomb. Oh, oh, sweet baby Jane. Help me. Help me. Give me Guppy's paw. Guppy's paw turns the whole run around. Store credit. Oh, now we gotta find our shop. Ringworm! Well. Enjoy this brief glimpse into what this run could have been if I had not fucked up our first deal with the devil. Leech, I need you to get about eight times taller and actually start wrecking shit. Like, right now. We have to go starter deck. Two of hearts, huh? Uh, we have to get this. I think we have to get this. I think we might as well get this, and then get ready to double it on that Demon Judgment. Gimpy. It's not really what I was looking for, to be honest with you. Why stand right next to the exploding rock? That's a good point, now that I think about it. As you can see, every time Mom's foot uh, touches the ground, doing about 1% of her max HP. Spiders? up that a little bit. They, they take it to about 2.5% of her max HP, so that's pretty encouraging. At that rate, I, I uh, estimate that we'll be done this fight half past uh, fucking February never. The boredom is setting in, and uh, I can feel my eyelids turning in on themselves. Please. Free me. Oh my god. Down to the next floor. And let's begin the song and dance anew. Oh, I don't. I right, let's just not take spirit art, or let's not take red heart damage on this floor. I'm gonna do my best not to take red heart damage on this floor, despite the fact that it takes me five hits to kill even the most basic enemy. Okay, let's do it. Oh, I took damage. The end. What I'm trying to get at is, fuck this. You know, like, just fuck this, man. Why do we even, what are we doing with our lives here, you know? Oh my god, put me in the Whore of Babylon state. Dip me in chocolate milk and call me a Nick Pringle. That's all I'm saying. I'm relishing the damage that we're taking here. Hurt me more. You're actually not supposed to be able to squeeze through there. Now I actually feel terrible. 
Not not deliberately trying to lose the run, okay? I was just trying to pick up some damage. I'm sure Leech will uh, will hook me up here anyway. What's even the point anymore, man? Time is a flat circle. Well, there's a HP for us. Which means we won't be doing any damage ever again, so we might as well pick up this HP too. I have I have lost the will to win. Thanks for hooking me up with an early boss fight game. I appreciate that. I do not appreciate that. Why have all of our fucking tinted rocks paid out with golden chests that have nothing of value in them? Are you fucking with me? Fuck. <laughs> oh, Curse of the Blind. Oh, it doesn't matter. We don't get items on this run anyway. It's not necessary. Hey, Gimpy. Thanks a lot. You know, I did do that on purpose, I'll admit. I wanted to get to the Horror of Babylon state. Leech will probably make it so that we can't stay there for very long, but just even like a, a small taste of high damage. Not even high damage, but like... This is the same damage we'd be doing on the third floor if we had picked up Horror of Babylon. Um, but just a brief taste of damage in general, you know? Reminds me of what we're fighting for here. The despair is real. The despair in my voice is genuine. Oh, please fuck. Let me reroll the whole run. I would... This is... It's 17 again, starring Matthew Perry. Let me reroll the whole run. Save me from myself. Soy milk, Dr. Fetus. I don't give a shit. Let me do it. Oh, you bitch. How did we, like... We gained HP on this room. How do we gain HP? We never lose HP. Don't forget, you're here forever. Oh my god, we only have two fucking bombs. There's just like, there's no way out of it. Hell in a fucking cell, loving an elevator. Living it up while we're going all the way fucking down here. We gain, all we do is gain HP. We can walk into the center of this room and just like shit all over these enemies. And they'll, or they let them shit all over us. And then we'll still somehow come out of this room with like probably a few extra spirit hearts. I guess I shouldn't be complaining in the whole scheme of things, but... This this run is is a Sisyphusian task. Just fucking pushing the boulder up the hill. Now we're th now we're throwing ourselves off the hill and getting crushed under the boulder and finding out we get getting Bill Murray and Groundhog Day right back to the start every time. Am I should I be surprised at this point that you paid out with nothing? That's what this whole run is to me. Nothing. The sad fucked up part of this is that there's actually like a decent chance we make it to the chest. And at this point, with my attitude, mister, I don't think I deserve to make it to the chest. Oh, tarot card, huh? Oh, I like you. I like you again. This is, yeah, get ready to get out of there, though. Oh! Speedball? That's your master fucking plan? Speedball? And now I'm out of bombs, and there's a tinted rock here. I know what you're thinking, but Northern Lion, there haven't been any tinted rocks that actually paid out with spirit hearts. Now that I think about it, you're correct. Are you... If I could fly, I would put... Well, I guess these guys can still hit you if you can fly, but I would put myself on top of one of these rocks and go... Fuck myself in the other room as we wait here for Double Envy to die. This is not... There's like some truths in life, you know? One, one thing in life that you know it's a tragedy is if you can't kill Super Envy. Or, I had two envies, I guess I should say, by the womb, too. Look at these stats. Look at these fucking stats. Four speed, six range, two damage. These are like the starting stats of your worst Eden run ever. And this is what we're rolling with. But, Northern Line, you have Leech. Yo, fuck your Leech, man! The only Leech I care about right now is Brian Leech. Is this Brian Leech? Best defenseman in New York Rangers history? I don't think it is. It's shitty shit leech that heals me when I just want to be freed from this mortal coil. But yet is actually going to give me the worst win of all time and I don't even want it. People are going to be mad at me even if I do win. Say, hey, why you got the bad attitude, mister? This is why I got the bad attitude. I'm having, you know, a 90 minute Isaac run. But on like, you know, Bisnap Cobalt Streak, my run's just going to be me shitting myself while the leech does all the damage. That would, oh, don't even. Don't get any ideas, game. If you give me Nod, if we live to the chest and you give me Nod fucking Leaf and nothing else, I'm gonna I'm gonna take myself out. And I kick this in the wrong direction to even get the tinted rock. Fuck everything. Oh, this room is actually like 
we're, we're encountering enemies I can deal damage to. It's the greatest feeling of all time. You know the uplifting feeling you get when the chorus of the circle of life lifts off? That's where we are right now. Well, it's like Steve Harwell said, right? It's a cool day to say it gets colder. Bundle them now, wait till you get older. He was speaking literally. You will be older by the time this run finishes. Your kids will have finished graduating college. I beg of you. Save me from yourself. Oh, oh my god. Knock, knock. Oh. <laughs> you think it's really fucking funny, don't you? Alright, here we go. I know we could go back with our bomb and get that tinted rock. What, do I, do I look like I love golden chests? Leech, would it fucking kill you to get in there? Like, if you're gonna piss me off, you might as well, like, keep me alive while you're pissing me off, you know? This is the worst run that has ever made it this far. Up to the cathedral. Yeehaw! Here we go, guys! All we gotta do is make it to the chest. And I can win this run against my against my will. Oh my god. Monstro 2. All this makes me think of is the fact that at some point there will be two Monstro 2s to fight. And I am gonna spend a hundred years bitching and moaning. Remember the old Northern Lion? Remember the Northern Lion that, you know, he'd crack jokes? I'm hoping that my despair is as entertaining to you as my, uh, as my, uh, irreverence. Because right now, that's all I got, man. I, I'm, I'm rolling a d20 up for despair, and I'm coming up deuces. HP. Do we pick up placenta as well? Is it impossible for us to die? Should I just give up? You don't expect to hear that on Isaac Rudd. Is it impossible for us to die? Should I just give up? Is this a Nick Seed? Did I accidentally end up playing a Nick Seed here? I can't even. I can't continue with this. What is this cruel punishment? Is the universe trying to tell me something and it's using Isaac as a conduit? Fuck me. And we gained HP! That's the the most beautiful part of that whole extravaganza right there, is we just gained HP. Have you prepared yourself for what happens? Have you gotten a snack? Go out to the fucking grocery store! It's still January, but I can't promise, you know, that February won't have an earthquake or something like that. You never know, you might as well stack up on supplies before the grocery store closes. Yeah, oh, oh, I got hit. Oh no. You don't... What, there's, when a man is not afraid of death, what more can you do to him, Isaac? If you had, if you gave me something to lose, then maybe I'd be scared on this run, but you gave me nothing to lose. Oh my god. Don't, don't fuck with me. Not this room. Not this room with no bombs. Oh. Leech. I, I can't do it, guys. I just want to end it. I can't. I can't do it. Leech isn't even gonna do anything. It's not even a good item. At least if we had Nod Leaf, I could go, like, for a joke, I could go to the kitchen, you know, grab a snack or something like that. What are you doing to me? I need entertainment. Do we have any chores that I could do? Maybe I could, like, do the dishes while this room finishes. In all of the 200 and whatever episodes that I've done of Rebirth, this is the worst by every measure. I sound like a fucking asshole. I shoot like an asshole. I waste all my bombs like an asshole. I get the, mo the rooms that are full of the most assholes. And I'm taking up too much of your day like an asshole. This is just the, the run is just the asshole of Isaac right now. This, this is the position that I'm in on this run, is I actually thought to myself, oh good, dead birds here, now the room will finish twice as fast. Dead birds here, now the room will finish twice as fast. Dead bird, the item where everyone goes, hey, you know, Revenge Fly is not a 10 out of 10, but at least it's not dead bird. That's our ace in the hole. Stop or I'll shoot, and if I shoot you 100 times and you don't die, I might sick dead bird on you. Is is Super Envy dead? Look at this. I'm actually happy with dead bird's damage. I think dead bird is taking pity on me and it is now saying, "Hey, you're doing a, you know, 
bang up job of staying alive here, kid. I don't know why it's calling me kid. That's a weird thing. It should just be saying, Caw -caw! Hmm. That was more like a Yoda at the end, but there was a bird in there at some point. If I'm a bird, you're a bird. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Let me die. Let me die, leech. It keeps giving me HP. I don't want it. I don't want your I don't want your handouts, man. I'm gonna go to this curse room in an attempt to pick up something to make this easier. Oh Jesus Christ. I can't <laughs> Oh Mama just killed a man. They're gonna test the length of room. Put it against this song to see which one is longer. I've got to know. Cause otherwise I'll go crazy on this run. I'm not a good singer. Oh no, damage. Oh no, damage. Oh fuck, you're gonna keep me alive. Mama. An empty room? That's so nice relative to what we just went through. Oh, yes. Are you ready for this bullshit, chicken shit, Isaac fight that's about to happen? I hope you're ready for it. Because the Isaac fight is the one where I actually have to try. If I if this is the wrong way, I don't even want to talk to anyone for the rest of the day. Oh, we did it. We made it. Think of all the runs where I've been doing crazy damage, but would give my left testicle for the ability to have some HP. This is the antithesis of that, and I hate everything about it. I can wait. There we go. I can't believe this shit, to be honest with you. Well, that was our ace in the hole, so prepare yourself for um, about a hundred years of disaster here. Probably the best thing that I can do is just hide in the corner and just let Leech do its thing. That makes me feel pretty sad. Dead birds helping out. I'm, just, I'm a spectator on my own run. Thank you, Gimpy. I actually appreciate that a great deal. Or Babylon State's coming. Don't let this room do it. Don't let this room do it. That'll give me one full heart. We just gotta wait for the center of the room to clear out a little bit. We're gonna fucking live to the chest. I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm, but I'm not mad anymore. I'm actually very happy that it's gonna happen. But I'm most... I'm, I'm incredulous. Let's leave it at that. How... The boss is moving towards you. Feel free to go aggro him. Gimpy, Gimpy, Gimpy. Nope. Okay. Gotta not get hit now. Because Leech... In a way, I appreciate it, you know? Leech and Dead Bird gave up. They wanted to make sure that I... I had to win this run for myself. Are you seeing this damage with Horror of Babylon? We got some weapons of mass destruction here at our disposal. We're so close to the moment of redemption. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Would it, like, straight up actually kill you, dead bird? Leech? Probably another couple of those and we'll be fine, but... Oh! Dead bird! Got a live one! <gasps> oh, he ran right into me! Got a live one! <gasps> oh, he ran right into me! Fuck that run. Thanks for watching. You have more patience than I do. I'll see you next time. Hey, everybody. Oh, shit, no, that's true. <laughs> that was fast. There we go. Okay. Ipecac. I'm gonna beat the boss. I'm gonna get nine lives. I'm gonna beat Boss Rush. Oh, okay. Okay, let's try it. Which is pretty nice. Zombies, collar, brought us back. Don't die on the first room. Justice. Joker, we got the wrong guy.